Okay, here we go to do one more examination of the top bar hive. And I will use this T-view camera as well. So, let us start filming everything with double camera. Well, come here. I have very simple cover, you see, one old plate, so it's some, it's everything reusable. Okay, I've got this uh, from my other hives, but you see here uh, extra insulation or support, some extra top bars that I can use it. See, now I have to smoke. Here are also my toolbox, notebook, so using this, get them a little calming them down. I hear several empty frames, so maybe I will do like this. See? Here I have already ready for for uh, for me case treatment, but that will be in the summer, maybe at the end of the major flow. So if you look carefully, there is some two empty I can do like that. They would like to build more, so we'll see how they build inside. I might have also here some drone to cut, drone brood. So, ah, nicely. Okay, maybe just using also high tool on hand. So, see. So. But here is also worker cells, worker cells, but here are drone cells. So they are doing as they need. Very friendly for bees with this type of beekeeping. They are not forced what to do. See, here is one, you have to be careful also here for queen cells. Just one capping, so. And here, you cannot much twist those bars. So with this old frame you can do a little bit like that, but be careful because it, it can uh, broke at the top bar. So brood cells are usually more stronger and you can see that these upper cells are a little elongated, a little stretched and these are using for honey store. So if that's not bad, they can do like that. Here between are some drone cells. Yeah, we could do some cutting of that and maybe we will see how they're doing regarding the mites. Here are some drone cells and here. I can see, I can see the queen. So the queen might be somewhere else. There's a little bit of smoke here below. drone cells try to not to cut the bees but of course that could happen I can try to cut also in this middle section to see what is there not very e evenly late but the worker brood is better more even so this could be a sign that bees recognized mites in the drone brood and took them out together with the cell let's cut the bees are inside have to be careful oh that's not good Maybe helping them, some young bees to go up. Uh, that's why it has to be done that on the top of the, on the top of the hive. Yeah, you can do maybe this way. Um, those young bees don't know how to go home.
that will be fine. Just to help them to go up. Maybe we can meanwhile check if there can be seen some some mites. Not on the first view. Have to check that later. See on that cat cut it part. It would be very strong infestation, you will see mites inside. But they might really recognize because this potty drone root could be sign that they can do it. Heck, not so bad here. Because young bees cannot fly, you know. And they have a uh, not very pleasant guide down. There are some, I even put the drone. They have some, of course, ants, and there are spiders. They are just waiting for a chance to get the bee. Especially a weak one. And young cannot defend much. So maybe just collect some of them. Try to collect those tiny girls that are not flying yet. And you cannot keep them at time in the hand because and also young bee can can sting but their stink is not so bad as from the old bee, you know. Okay. Okay, we are fine with this. Okay. Oh there are some bees leaking from the dead body, some honey. Okay, let us see what we have here. Yeah! Okay, looks like I will have to check it inside of the house. You see a uh, worker, a night worker brood at the right, it's a drum brood. Uh, yeah, I might wait for a few days, you know, here's some additional to cover a little bit more of that and then cut that. But it's good, maybe a good idea to mark that there are some drones. So, so I will do here like T. T is for throat uh, and sleep, which is the name for the drone. Okay, they're doing well. Okay. Yeah, you have to be careful when putting bars together. Hmm. Haven't they built much here? There's one queen cell. Here is one bigger one. This is sign. Yeah. I might have to take queen out. So here is, see, since they're not building much more, just in one week, they didn't build much. So, they might want to go to swarming or screen exchange. So supercedure, so cold. Oh, here is also one more. Okay, we have here more queen cells. This colony is actually doing really well, and I might be able to use some of those queen cells to make extra colonies. So. I might have to make a break, uh, see what is going on there, and there, then I will try to found, find that queen and maybe not record that because it's too much time consuming. So we saw here some queen cells and uh, 
probably a good idea to catch the queen and them to build further queen cells and then in a few days I can separate that. Okay, stop for now. So I noticed before that I have some problems, not a big one, just queen cells which are maybe five days old. So I will try to find the queen separate to this side and then rare a new queen on the other side. So, so what I will do, I will try to separate queen to this side and then have the rest of the colony to rear those queen cells further. I have like five days old queen cells. So I will bring you some frames like this that can be observed better. Okay. Such a frame, it's a potential that there would be a queen. Why? Because it's a new build comp. Let us see. Okay. New build comp. Here in the middle is a our worker cells with some eggs inside, but they are a little laid down, so they are like two days old. And we have drum brood on the other side, on this on this margin, if my fingers hang. So here is not a queen, but I will search for her definitely. I'd like this colony to produce some queens. Uh, I can use some of them because this colony was doing very well in this top bar hive. See, I have to check carefully for the queen. So, I will do that further. Hopefully, I find her. I cut it here some drum root before today. I haven't checked it yet, but it is a little spotty. This drum root was spotty. Would be very good sign. Uh, this is empty. I just closed it before the hole. Here I have additional frame where is also drum brute on one side and worker brute on other side so very nice brute actually see very nice brute Yeah, here is Her Majesty. Her Majesty just laying eggs. So looks like I'm very careful with working so that she continue laying eggs. Here is she. Sorry, like this. Here is she. I will move her. Have to be careful that she will not fly away. She will be here. I will push all this there. I might put her only one extra. I will put here a little bit of space. Put one bar here. And here I have to put something. I will not put her additional brood.
that's empty, that they just built a small short. Might be also for her. Yeah, I was too... A little too fast. Okay, I will put my separation board inside. Okay, you might want to see this. I already checked all those frames, so just want to get one more honey like frame, but everything is with the brute, you see. It's all frames are full of brute except of this this bar. Uh, Perhaps here and then now it's also full. Everything is with the brood. Yeah, here is a lot of bee bread. See, a lot of bee bread. Might take a risk. Because there are a lot of bees. Uh, or they keep it. Uh, keep it. Brut, and they will not have uh, active forgers quite soon. I might have to shake some bees here to the queen side. This is my new one. Using smoke not to smash the bees. Pushing that like this. Yeah, will be good idea. Just push inside. Yeah, that will work. I have to close empty space below with the foam, and they will get here extra bars. Here they already started building, so good bar like that. One more. And here should be fine. Yeah, and have to go to the foam. I will close that. And the, I will need to expect in a week because there are opened queen cells and the, those opened queen cells will be closed in a week, definitely, and ready to go out.